We're truly living in the United States of addiction. A shocking statistic reveals that up to one in eight Americans suffer from alcoholism. It can destroy families, marriages, and it claims the lives of approximately 80,000 people every year in this country alone. And at just 24 years of age, our next guest, Mason, wonders if he could be next. My name is Mason, I'm 24, and I think I'm gonna die by 25. The first time I drank alcohol, I was six or seven years old. The first time I got drunk, I was sitting in my mom's garage with a bottle of Jim Beam by myself in the dark. I started drinking regularly at the age of 17. I cannot remember the last time I did not have alcohol. I will drink until I pass out. I drink every single day, every single day. If I have any money in my pocket, I will spend it on alcohol. Usually I get money through pawning items that I own. I used to have a fridge right here, and I sold it so that I could get drunk. I'm sick of living in poverty. I mean, I've got graffiti and holes all over my walls. I don't even have a real ceiling. I'm gonna get back to drinking now. Mason growing up was a lot of fun. We did a lot of things. Riding around a go-kart and pretending it was a vehicle was a lot of fun for us. He was great until his parents got a divorce and then he kind of fell off a little bit. When I was around 12 years old, my mom had cheated on my dad and my parents broke up. My mom eventually moved out of state completely. I was not close to my father at all. I was very, very close to my mother. It not only felt like she betrayed me, but it felt like she abandoned me. I felt nothing but pain. And that led to a lot of the problems that we have to this day. He's just lost right now. I'm more worried that the alcoholism has damaged his insides. We were sitting outside in the chairs and he got up to come inside. And as soon as he got in the back door here, he just hit the ground. He was like, I'm gonna puke. So I grabbed the bucket that was right there and he puked into this bucket for a good 10 minutes and it was just solid red. My name is Mason, I'm 24 years old. I've been using drugs and alcohol since I was 13 and I have nothing but shame and pain to show for it. I have nowhere else to turn. Please help me, I don't know what else to do. I wanna get better. Please welcome Mason and his stepsister, Sarah. Mason, I, I first want to applaud you. I applaud you for reaching out to us for help. Thank you. Did you ever think when you wrote that letter that it would get answered? I never thought I would even receive a ply, honestly. I was watching an episode about a girl who was struggling with heroin addiction and an eating disorder, and it was like three o'clock in the morning and I was drinking and I, she was really super strong and facing her demons and she was willing to reach out and ask for help and I figured if she can do it, then so can I. And then... Now I can see how much, how much pain, obviously this has caused you and your family and I, I have to also applaud your stepsister, Sarah, because the love, that, that you have for your stepbrother is is remarkable through all this. It's it's heartbreaking to watch since it, such a talented, smart young man have so many dreams and aspirations, and then just lose them and and alcohol. It's heartbreaking and a helpless feeling. You know what can you do? It's hard. It feels like you mourn who somebody was and you're just kind of accepting how it is now. And it's, it's not a good feeling. I want to allude to something you said. You don't think you make it to your 25th birthday. No, when I was a child, my mother had a dream that I would die before I was 25. Well, you know you can change dreams, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dreams like that, right? <laughs> yeah. I can tell that you have yes. a great heart. Yes. yes. He does. He has a great it's heart. Absolutely right. <laughs> when, I w when I met with Mason, it was so clear to me what a smart oh, yeah. young man this is. He's so talented, so sweet, has such a big heart for people and his family and his loved ones. And he is rightfully scared for his life because he doesn't know how to stop these patterns that have occurred 
over many, many years and gotten worse. And really, the beginning of this, and for many people who are addicted, is not really the addiction itself. It's always there is a precursor. There is depression. There's some other stressful experience.